Today's topic is limb ischemia. Limb ischemia occurs when blood flow to the extremities, as in hands, feet, or legs, is restricted, preventing them from receiving enough oxygen. Limb ischemia may be acute, as in occurring suddenly, or chronic, as in develops over time. The chronic form is usually referred to as critical limb ischemia. In critical limb ischemia, the condition progresses to the point of severe pain in the feet or toes, even while resting. Acute limb ischemia is a highly treatable condition, with proper surgical care. However, delayed treatment, as in beyond 6 to 12 hours, can result in severe complications, including permanent disability, amputation, and or even death. Critical limb ischemia is a very severe condition and needs comprehensive treatment, as the condition won't resolve on its own. If left untreated, complications will result in amputation of the affected limb. Causes Acute limb ischemia is caused by embolism or thrombosis. In rare cases, it can be caused by dissection or trauma. Critical limb ischemia is the advanced stage of peripheral artery disease. Peripheral artery disease results from a progressive thickening of an artery's lining by a buildup of plaque, also known as arteriosclerosis. This condition narrows or blocks blood flow, reducing the circulation of blood to the extremities, like the hands, feet, or legs. The risk factors for critical limb ischemia include smoking, diabetes, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, family history of vascular disease, Obesity, sedentary lifestyle, age, men over 60 and women after menopause. Symptoms. Symptoms for acute ischemia include severe pain, loss of pulses, the coldness of the limb, paleness of the skin, loss of sensation, leg weakness. Symptoms for critical limb ischemia include Severe pain or numbness in the legs and feet while at rest. Toe or foot sores, ulcers, or infections that heal very slowly or don't heal at all. Gangrene. Thickening of the toenails. A decrease in the temperature of the lower leg or foot compared to the rest of the body. Shiny, dry, smooth skin in the legs or feet. Loss of pulse in the legs or feet. Diagnosis and Treatment To make a diagnosis, the following diagnostic procedures may be carried out. Pulse examination to see where heart rate can be detected and where it stops being sensed. A Doppler evaluation that measures the direction and velocity of blood flow in smaller arteries. This can help to show the extent and severity of the condition. Angiogram, where an X-ray study of the blood vessels is taken using contrast dyes. CT angiography, MRI angiography. Treatment. The aim of treatment is to reduce pain and improve blood flow to save the leg. Treatment options may include medications, endovascular treatments, including angioplasty and stent, to widen and keep the artery open. Laser atherectomy, where small bits of plaque are vaporized by the tip of a laser probe. Directional atherectomy where a catheter with a rotating cutting blade is used to physically remove plaque from the artery, opening the flow channel. Surgery is recommended if the arterial blockages are not favorable for endovascular treatment. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.